Saints Rock Gonzalez, Alfonso Rodriguez, and Juan de Castillo. Today we celebrate the feast of three martyrs who gave their lives for the mission in Paraguay. The first among them is Rock Gonzalez. He was born in Asuncion, Paraguay in 1576. As a young man, he studied with the Jesuits but became a diocesan priest. His first assignment was to work with the native people near Asuncion. He did this very well that the bishop made him the pastor of the cathedral. In 1609, at the age of 33, he joined the Jesuits. While still a novice, he was sent to work with the Guarani people who live along the Paraguay and Pilcomaño rivers. Gonzalez became fluent in the language and could preach effectively. Although baptisms were few, the people became more friendly and stopped attacking Spaniards in Asuncion. After spending two years in this mission, he was transferred in 1611 to St. Ignatius' mission, which did very well under his pastoral care. These missions were known as reductions from a Spanish verb reducer to bring together because their idea was to bring people together to live in towns. In St. Ignatius, Gonzalez laid out a public square plaza, supervised the building of houses, set up a school, and built a church. In addition to providing living space, he also taught them how to farm, raise sheep, and cattle. He continued preaching the gospel, illustrating its message with color, music, and possessions. The second is Alfonso Rodriguez. He was born in Zamora, Spain in 1598 and arrived at the Latin America mission in 1616 as a scholastic and after studies at Cordoba, Argentina, was ordained a priest in 1625. The third martyr is John del Castillo. He was born in Belmonte, Spain in 1596. He began studying law, but then joined the Jesuits and became a missionary to Latin America while still a scholastic. Unlike Rodriguez, studied theology at Cordoba and was ordained in 1625. In 1619, Rock Gonzalez became the first Jesuit to enter what is now Uruguay on the invitation from the local chief to set up a similar reduction for his people. The invitation was accepted, and in 1620, the town of Concepcion was founded. Gonzalez went on to set up other missions, including Candelaria and the Assumption Mission at Uwe, a village of 400 people. He put Juan del Castillo, the recently ordained Jesuit, in charge of it. Then, in the company of Alfonso Rodriguez, he set out for Caro to set up a new mission. They arrived on 1st November and called the new mission All Saints. Within a few days, they had already baptized three children, but this brought them into conflict with Nezu, the local religious leader who resented the influence of the missionaries which he felt threatened his own. He decided to get rid of them. As Gonzalez was leaving the chapel one morning after the Mass, he went to help some men set up a bell. As he bent down, some of Nesu's men split the priest's head with an axe. When Rodriguez came out to investigate, he too was struck down. The bodies of these two priests were thrown into the chapel, which was set on fire. It was 15 November 1628. 
The day after the murder of Gonzalez and Rodriguez, a number of Nezu's supporters went to Uwey. They attacked Del Castillo before taking him into the jungle where he was beaten to death and his body set on fire. His remains were later recovered and buried together with his two companions. These three were canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1988. Gonzalez is the first native-born person from any of the Americas to be canonized as a saint. They are remembered for their missionary zeal and their fortitude in defending the indigenous people against oppressors. Saints Roque Gonzalez, Alfonso Rodriguez, and Juan del Castillo pray for us.